Di sidang umum PBB yang membahas perkembangan di Palestina, Indonesia mengecam tindakan Israel dan berharap PBB membantu solusi mengakhiri perang. Di depan perwakilan seluruh anggota PBB yang hadir, Menlo Repto menyampaikan keprihatinan pemerintah Indonesia atas banyaknya korban jiwa dari rakyat sipil, wanita, dan anak-anak warga Palestina di Gaza yang mencapai ribuan jiwa. Menlu Retno juga menyampaikan peran aktif Indonesia untuk membantu mengakhiri ketegangan di Gaza tersebut bersama negara-negara anggota OKI langsung melobi negara anggota tetap Dewan Keamanan PBB. Can I ask, is what Israel doing consistent with the international law? Is it consistent? With international humanitarian law, let us be honest to ourselves in answering this question. And if we really want to defend justice and humanity, there are four issues we should work for. First, we need a permanent ceasefire. The first extended pause in hostilities is a welcome start to end these atrocities. But these uneasy pauses will not be enough. We need a ceasefire. Without it, it will be difficult to do the rest, to save lives and for aid agencies to work in Gaza. Second, ensure unhindered humanitarian assistance. Massive humanitarian aid is needed in Gaza. We need to scale up humanitarian assistance. We must support UNRWA and other humanitarian agency to help 1.7 million Palestinians forcibly displaced in Gaza. Indonesia is committed to scaling up assistance including by deploying our floating hospital. Third, we must stand for justice. Even wars have rules and limits, and these are nowhere to be seen. In Gaza, attacks against hospitals, schools, places of worship, refugee camps should not be normalized. I repeat, should not be normalized. We must call a spade a spade. What has taken place in Gaza are clear violation of international humanitarian law and failure to act may equal to complicity. We must also call out double standard in the application of international law, which seriously undermine the sanctity of the law itself. Indonesia therefore support efforts to ensure accountability of Israel at various relevant forums, including the International Court of Justice. And fourth, restart the Palestine-Israel peace and political process. Mr. President, addressing the question of Palestine requires us to address the root causes, plain and simple. The occupation on the Palestinian land must end. There are no military solution to this conflict. Political solution is the only answer. We need a credible negotiation process that is transparent and equitable with Palestine and Israel having equal standing as UN full members, leading to a two-state solution based on internationally agreed parameters. Mr. President, Indonesia calls on the global community to stand together with humanity. Only by uniting can we bring peace to Palestine and the region. Only by using our heart can we bring humanity and justice. I thank you very much.